So several years ago, we had a potluck at church, and I made this, um, what I called Greek chicken. Um, and really, it was a recipe I made up with uh, Greek dressing, angel hair pasta, and, and chicken. Um, so I'm recreating it from scratch instead of, and so I'm going to make my own Greek dressing instead of buying it in the store. So I'm going to start with two-thirds cup of Greek yogurt. and a half a cup of olive oil. And I'm going to mix those together. I'm going to add a half a cup of lemon juice, which I really got from juicing two lemons, and the zest from those lemons. Now our spices. I have two teaspoons of salt. I have a half of a teaspoon of white pepper. Um, if you use black pepper, you can use a whole teaspoon. We use white. If you have never seen our show before, I use white pepper because as soon as my children see a piece of black pepper in their food, they refuse to eat it. So I have been successful at hiding white pepper in their food for years. Then I'm going to add four tablespoons of oregano. And five teaspoons of minced garlic. And the last thing is two tablespoons of crumbled feta cheese. Now, I want to reserve half of this for me to toss the pasta in after I cook the pasta but I want to put half in my in, over my chicken to marinate it. So, I'm going to kind of guesstimate how much that is. Then I'm going to move the chicken all around to make sure all of it gets coated in this marinade. And then we're going to refrigerate this for 30 minutes or up to three hours. And then we'll grill it. So our chicken has been marinating for the last three hours in our refrigerator. Now I'm going to put it on my griddle pan to cook it. And I cut it into one ounce or one inch chunk. You can cook these as full chicken breasts if you like. I'm just going to put mine in a casserole later. So I want one inch pieces. But if you just want grilled chicken with the flavor of the Greek marinade, then feel free to make, to just marinate full chicken breast. So we're going to let these cook for about three minutes and then we're going to flip them over to the other side. So our chicken has been cooking for about three minutes. Now we're going to flip each little piece and cook for another three minutes. We're going to cook it all the way through before we mix it in with our pasta and our other ingredients to make our Greek chicken pasta.
And there we go. We'll wait another three minutes. Our Greek chicken is done cooking. So now I have, I'm going to assemble my pasta. I have a pound of angel hair pasta that I cooked just according to package instructions. There's nothing special about it. I'm going to add the other half of that marinade we had earlier to it. And this is why I'm wearing gloves. Because angel hair is so thin, I use my gloves to make sure that we get that dressing incorporated through the whole thing. There we go. Now I'm also going to add a quarter cup of capers. They're one of my favorite things. This is basically everything I love about Greek food put together into with angel hair pasta and then baked. <laughs> then I have a half a cup of Kalamata olives. These are just Greek olives. They're, they're different than the um, black olives that you get because they're soaked in a wine vinegar. Um, but they are and they're more of an eggplant color, not black or green. So those are Kalamatas and that's a half of a cup. And then I have one 14 ounce can of artichokes that were quartered and then I cut those quarters in half so there are eighths now <laughs> and that's here and then I have eight ounces of crumbled feta cheese that I'm gonna add we're gonna stir all that together Try to incorporate it through everything. And then I'm going to pour it into my 9 by 13 baking pan. And there it is. Then I'm going to take my chicken now. Take my chicken and just nestle it in on top of the pasta piece by piece. Like that. Now the last thing I have, I love feta cheese, like love feta cheese. So I'm going to take another eight ounces and just sprinkle it over the top so it can bake in. Then we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. You don't have to do it for long because everything is already cooked. There's no raw chicken, there's no raw pasta. And then we'll be ready to eat. Our Greek chicken pasta bake is finished. It took about 20 minutes in the oven and we're gonna let it cool for another two minutes before it's time to eat.